Hi, I'm Benay Oppal and I'm back with season 2. This is episode number 2 of the Pathfinder series. Here I'm going to discuss and show you a very elegant solution to a question from Fluid Mechanics. Let's just have a read of the question first. A sphere of mass m and radius r rests at the bottom of a large reservoir of water as shown in the figure 1. So this is the sphere and depth of the reservoir is h. Density of the material of the sphere is the same as that of water. Now the sphere is slowly pulled completely out of water. So two important points that is given in the question is that the density is same of the sphere and water and it is slowly pulled. Now that is a key information that we are going to use in a solution. So what is the question asking? The question is asking which of the following is the correct expression for work done by the agent pulling the sphere. So there is an external force that is pulling the sphere upwards and we need to find the work done by the external force and the key point is that the sphere is being pulled upwards slowly and slowly means that the change in kinetic energy or the kinetic energy itself is negligible. So let's have a look at the solution. So what I am going to do in solving this question is I am going to use work energy theorem. I am going to write that the external work done plus work done by gravity should be change in kinetic energy usually but in this case since the sphere is being pulled up slowly the change in kinetic energy will be zero. The kinetic energy itself will be negligible. I can further write the work done by gravity as negative of the change in potential energy. So I can write and the external work done is therefore equal to the change in the gravitational potential energy. Now the important point to note here is that the potential energy of gravity is changing not only for the sphere but also of the water body. So let's have a look. First let me write down the change in potential energy of the sphere and in order to do that I am going to choose a reference line. Let me choose the base as the reference line where the potential energy of gravity is zero. That is just my choice for convenience. Um, the reference line doesn't really affect the final answer. So initially the center of mass of the sphere is at a distance r and finally uh, since the reservoir depth is given to be h, finally the center of mass of the sphere is at h plus r. So it has risen by a height of h and therefore I can write mgh as the increase in potential energy of the solid sphere. Now let us write the change in potential energy of water and let's have a look at why the water potential energy changes in the first place. So what is going to happen in reality is as the sphere is taken out of water, the water level is going to fall and in this case it will fall by a very small amount because the question said that the reservoir is very large. So in order to conserve volume, the water level, the water height needs to reduce but in this case that reduction is extremely small. And another important point to note is that the space occupied by the sphere in the original diagram is now going to be occupied by water. So if I compare the original diagram and the final situation, it is as if there is a mass m that has been lost at the top and then appeared here in the form of a sphere. Everything else in the water body is the same as it was in the original situation. So I can write that there is uh, a loss in potential energy of mgh because there is a mass m at the top of the uh, reservoir has disappeared and then I have an additional potential energy of MgR because of the appearance of the spherical region of water in the space occupied by the sphere in the original situation. Note that I have taken the water mass, I have taken it as M and the reason is that the mass of the water occupying the original space of the sphere and mass of the sphere itself will be same because density is same and therefore this will simply be equal to MGR and that is your answer. So I hope you guys have understood the solution. It's a very elegant solution using work energy theorem without any requirement for any sort of integration in order to calculate the work done. Also one important point is that 
there is no need to take into account the buoyant force because buoyant force is nothing but the force of pressure and that is a normal force and in mechanics i hope you all know that the total work done by normal force is always zero so we are only concerned with the agents that are doing work which is the external agent and gravity so that's it for today see you guys good night